Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how to use the average ifs function. I made a video previously about average if, but uh, average ifs is going to allow you to average data from a range of numbers. So if you if you have a range of data you want to look at and get the average based on multiple criteria rather than just one, average ifs is going to be able to help you to quickly and easily do that. So we have some dummy data here that we're just going to walk through how we'd go about it. We have as different criteria, we have um, value. We're going to be looking at if it's positive or negative but also we're going to look at selecting the data or averaging the data by color. So kind of a little table here to help us to kind of help us walk us through it. All we're going to do is equals average ifs and it will pop up there. We can go ahead and hit tab and it's going to kind of auto populate. So it's going to ask us for the average range. So what is the range of data that it's looking to average? So we're just going to be using the values. That's that's what we're going to be looking at to get the average data. So we're going to just hit control shift down arrow and that's going to select the entire the entire column and we're going to make this an absolute reference so we're going to hit f4 and that's going to make sure that as maybe we drag this formula it's not going to drag with it and so we're going to just hit comma there so now it's going to ask for criteria range one so uh criteria range one what we're going to do is select by color so next we would need to go in and select our next column of data so this will be the color data that column there again we're going to hit control shift down arrow it's going to select the whole column and then we're going to make absolute reference again which is f4 function f4 and then we'll hit comma uh, once we have the range in there and it's ask what is the criteria so there's a couple different things you can do you can go ahead and just do quotation marks you could do blue type it in manually you'll just if, if it is text you'll just want to make sure that you do have those quotation marks in there We'll just go ahead and do it for this instance, and then we'll show you kind of another way about how we're, we can think about this. We'll hit another comma though, and then that's going to shift it to ask for what the next criteria range, criteria range is. So we want to know, we want to average the numbers that are positive. So we're going to just go ahead and reselect that value column, control shift down arrow, uh, function of four, and then we're going to put a comma in there. And so again, it's asking what's your criteria of this value range that you're looking at? what do you want to average and so again we want to look at the numbers that are greater than zero so the positive number so we'll have to do that quotation mark greater than zero and then uh, another quotation mark and let's say you wanted to look up maybe like a, a specific different range of numbers you could go ahead and, and put that in there but we're just going to do a positive for now and then once we have all that information there we you know, we can do close parentheses you can go on and do multiple more data if you'd like, if you want to get a little bit more granular, but this is what we're going to do for now. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. So it's telling us that of all the, the numbers that are blue and positive for our values here, the average is, the average number is 20.1. So we go ahead and we can, we're going to just drag this down. So it's going to copy the formula. So now we want to find negative, but what we can do rather than just have the greater than zero we're going to go ahead and manipulate this formula and we'll do less than zero so that's going to give us all of our negative numbers so now it's telling us all of the numbers in here that are blue and negative the average number is negative 28 and a half so very easy to go in and really get very specific average data if, if you're looking to do that so you know if we wanted to copy and paste this through the rest of the table there's a little bit of challenge we set up ourselves with is we we manually typed in blue here so what we could do is just highlight that and, and get rid of it and then we're just going to select whatever the color is so we'll just do e2 which is blue and it's going to do the exact same thing there we can click and drag but it's going to give us some bad numbers here because remember we have the manual greater than or positive in there so it's not going to work it's just going to copy it's going to give us the blue as or green yellow red but it's all the positive numbers so if we wanted to kind of make that automated we could just go ahead and, and insert another column here all right so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and put greater than zero or less than zero in there and so now what we're going to do is with this cell here we've got the manual override uh, with our data so again, the things we want to be aware of as we're putting in the average ifs is that we have our average range right here. 
So that's our values. It's the numbers that we want to do the average for. The next is the criteria range one. So we're looking at the color data column. So that's our range that we want to do the average for. And then the criteria is blue here is what we're selecting. And it will be dynamic. So as we, as we pull the formula down, it will capture all of that. And then the next criteria range is just the values again, because we want to look at the positive and negative numbers within that value. And so what we want to do is just manipulate this here or change this positive. We're just going to go ahead and click our positive cell here and then we'll hit enter. And so we notice it gives us the same number. But now what we can do is just click and drag this formula all the way down and it will just update all of the numbers, all of the averages for these different numbers um, because we have the dynamic formula. So again, it's just pulling our, our value range, our color column, the color criteria here, as well as if we want a positive or negative number. So very easy to do. I uh, made this little tip just to make it a little bit easier, but again, like the formulas, it should be the same for whatever you're trying to do. It's, it, this has a lot of different applications and is very functional and, and can save you a lot of time as you're trying to get into that some of that granular and specific data. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd, I'd love to, to interact and maybe answer any questions if, if possible. Please subscribe to the, the Excel guy and hope you have a great day.